Hey, it's your buddy Zach. Facebook recently blocked an app which allowed users to see which of their friends had unfriended them, which got me to wondering, has anyone ever unfriended me from Facebook? Keep in mind, I'm pretty cool. But it turns out, four people have unfriended me on Facebook, and that's f***ed. So I decided to track down my ex-friends and find out what I did wrong. Using my expert research skills, I tracked down my marks. Actually, I just logged into Facebook and typed in their names. The first, my college roommate's ex-girlfriend, blocked me immediately. The second said she would rather not be in my video. But the third and fourth agreed to video chat with me and explain what had happened. But first, I decided to talk to some coworkers and find out what their thoughts were on this whole unfriending phenomenon. Have you ever unfriended someone on Facebook? Yes, I have. Of course I have. Oh, all the time. Really? <laughs> yeah. All the time? So what's the reason you might unfriend someone on Facebook? All right. Racist statement, yeah. homophobic. If you're too political, I unfriend you. If there's someone that I've dated and I don't want to see their social media. Talk about their problems all the time. You said me like candy crush requests, you're cut. For a while I, I hooked my Twitter up to my Facebook. Oh, so. I would unfriend the f out of you. It's really bad because it's usually when it's their birthday because that's the only way that I know that I'm friends with them. You can't unfriend people on their birthday. You gotta wait, wait one day. I mean, that's cold. I feel like they wouldn't notice, right? Like I noticed. Four people unfriended me on Facebook. Were you like posting annoying things? Never. Zach's never done anything like no. that. I think that maybe maybe you're oversaturating them. And maybe it's not even your fault. Are you trying to tell, do you think I, do I oversaturate you on Facebook? I, you don't oversaturate me. People unfriend you when they think you're not interesting enough to keep. Sometimes you just have to like cut ties with people. If you're not gonna write happy birthday on the person's wall when it's their birthday, you should just delete them. Cause that's what Facebook's for. My co-work, my co-workers were helpful. But if I really want to find out why I was unfriended, there are only two people who can help me. Here we go. Hey, David. Hello, Amanda. Hi. I appreciate you taking uh, some time to talk to me. It's been a while. Three or four years? Yeah. Yeah, probably because I think we stopped hanging out before we graduated college. Oh, God, this is awkward. Sorry. Oh, no, it's going to be, it's going to get more awkward. You commented on three of my profile pictures. That's how yes. I knew you unfriended me. They are some good photos. I couldn't help myself, I guess. One of the pictures uh, is me in a C-3PO costume, and I'm kind of touching myself like, like that. Just like this. Just like feeling yourself. Yeah, I mean, the more that we're talking about, the more I'm realizing, like, we were definitely friends. We weren't just like... Yeah, no, we definitely were. We went to, like, a lot. We hung out a lot. All right, David, let's just dive right into this. You and I were Facebook friends. <laughs> you severed that tie. We are no... <laughs> we're no longer Facebook friends. Why are you laughing? This is not a laughing matter. This is serious. <laughs> it's funny. I'm sorry. What did I do? Why did you unfriend me? I... <laughs> I, yeah, I don't remember why exactly I did it. Just like a distancing thing. I, I don't know, I thought about it too. I was like, I really have no idea. So you weren't the only one, just so you know. There were as many who were just like plucked off. I mean, I unfriend people a lot from college. Like I'm a serial, I do it on their birthday too. I'm the worst. I always do the birthday unfriend. I just didn't give a shit. I was just like, nah, nah, nah. I was thinking in the instant, man. I can't be the only one. Who does that? You, you're still friends with my other roommates, you said, my old college roommates. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just me. Because Holly always thought that you had like a crush on her and were kind of weird. So I think eventually the hive mind of the dorm <laughs> convinced us that we were all like, oh man, no good. It's like every fear I potentially had confirmed in one terrible video chat. You and I don't talk, you know? That's, yeah. that's just a fact. Would you say we're friends right now? No, I don't know anything about your life. I mean, it, we were into similar things, mm -hmm. and then we went on the paths of differentiating into sort of different livelihoods. You know, we were friends, and now we're not friends, and maybe that's okay. Yeah. A relationship is like a shark. It has to keep yeah. moving forward or else it dies. I think a general rule is like, if I don't even feel like wishing you happy birthday, you're not worth being my Facebook friend. That's pretty much. If I wouldn't consider it, then that's that. You know, you lose friends along the way and that can be okay. So we said our goodbyes. In the end, it was nice reconnecting with David and Amanda, even despite the circumstances that brought us together. We even decided to remain Facebook friends for now. We had refriended for the sake of the video. 
And then on my birthday, something unexpected happened. Follow me on Instagrams. Instagram's a little more selective. <laughs> so, so there we go, there we go, there we go. What does it mean to follow someone on Instagram, Zach? Different video, different video. Oh. David just called me out for my shit.